Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today from Bandai Namco in the Dragon Stars line, we are featuring Dragon Ball Super Janemba versus Super Saiyan Gogeta. All right, so this is a deluxe uh, two pack or battle pack. Um, it's available only at Target, as you can see right here. And you're getting a lot of stuff um, in this deluxe set. You're getting Janemba or Janemba um, on the left. You're getting Gogeta on the right. Uh, there's also the, the Dimension Sword, the exclusive hand uh, with the Soul Punisher, aka Stardust Breaker uh, Energy Sphere, and multiple hand accessories. All right, so I believe this recreates their confrontation in the animated feature Dragon Ball Z uh, Fusion Reborn. Um, I saw that. <laughs> decades ago back in the late 90s um one thing that's odd i can't figure out why it is but when i was introduced to the character back in 95 or 96 uh janemba here was spelled janemba with an m and for whatever reason it's now with an n and i don't understand that uh if you know the reason why for the spelling change uh just leave a comment down below on the back, we have some beautiful character artwork. So let's get started. And this does not want to open up correctly. Alright, so we have a wonderful looking two-pack here. Uh, we have Janemba on the left with his Dimension Sword. We have Gogeta on the right. And it's cool that they attach the um, Soul Punisher, Stardust Breaker, Energy Sphere onto this hand. I think that's kind of neat. And I'm pretty excited to check this out. On the back, uh, cardboard insert. You know, save this for your display shelf or, you know, maybe fig photography. It's crazy the amount of hands the set comes with, but you know, in all honesty, all of these hands serve a purpose. And if you want to create their signature poses or battle stances, you can easily do that with any of these hands. It's it's pretty awesome. All right, my dimension sword is kind of like warped at the hilt uh, because it's the way it's stored in the tray. I can easily fix that. You know, just submerge this in hot water and then you can just like rebend it back. All right, let's take a look at Janemba first. Um, first off, here is the Dimension Sword. You know, it's probably the second uh, <laughs> most well-known sword in the Dragon Ball universe besides uh, Trunks' sword that he received um, was from Tapion from the future. Um, yeah, it's kind of warped and bent, but that could easily be fixed. As for Janemba himself, a uh, really cool looking figure. 
Um, I'm kind of hoping he holds together better than some of the other Dragon Star figures. You know, some of the other figures kind of suffer from that syndrome where all the joints are always constantly uh, popping off, especially like around the legs and, you know, the hip sections. Uh, the color scheme is nice, really vibrant, really reflective of um, how it's portrayed on the big screen and the animated feature. Um, the sculpting is well done. It's pretty nice. I like that the his facial features are really well defined. You know, there's some Dragon Star figures where the facial sculpting is kind of soft. It looks fantastic. Love the color scheme a lot. Um, in terms of articulation, his head rotates. Uh, doesn't really look down. Doesn't really look up. Arms rotate. They go out. It's kind of hard to it's a little tight. Uh, bicep swivel right there. Uh, double jointed elbows. Articulated wrists. Um, there's a cut underneath the body armor here. So you can swivel. Uh, doesn't really want to ab crunch. Doesn't really lean back all that much. Uh, the tail is actually articulated also on a ball joint, as you can see. And uh, it's cool. You can like, get it in um you know some poses and it looks like it's also articulated midway so you can rotate this um the legs um let's take a look at those get into focus um they kick up they kick out not so much because the upper hip here collides with the pelvis uh double jointed knees and articulated ankles, but the movement's kind of hindered because of the the boot. And this is what always makes me crazy with some of these figures is that they need to come up with a better way of designing the uh, the leg joints, especially around the hip. You know, I've, a lot of figures have a tendency to pop off right here, and it gets kind of frustrating, especially when it's hard to put back. You know, these figures aren't on the same level as a figure arts figure, and rightfully so. You know, they're priced a lot cheaper, but, you know, I kind of wish they'd hold them, hold their, uh, I wish, kind of wish the pieces would hold together a lot better. But for the price point, it's fair, you know. Um, you get a lot of accessories, especially in the two packs. Great figure. Now we come to Gogeta, Super Saiyan Gogeta. I kind of wish they'd um, release figures of, like, the flawed versions, like when they, sometimes when the characters fuse, they kind of mess up and it kind of results in like, <laughs> you know, like malformed, uh, weird looking versions of the characters. And I'd love for them to like release the, you know, the weird version of like Gogeta when they kind of mess up the fusion dance. Um, great looking figure. Um, it's cool that he has the halo. Does this come off? Oh yeah, the halo comes off, which is nice. Um, that's an accessory, much like the, the, Soul Punisher here, you don't want to lose these. This one especially, it's, uh, the color of it, it's kind of transparent. And it seems like if you drop this, it'd be easy to lose. Uh, so here is the Halo and the Stardust Breaker, a.k.a. the Soul Punisher. We'll put these aside for now and look at the figure itself. Uh, the color scheme is pretty spot on to the anime model. Um, head rotates, arms move, you know, the standard articulation scheme for a dragon star figure you know the bicep cut double pinned um, elbows articulated wrists swivel and then the legs knees it's all there it's pretty solid um I like this figure a lot you know visually he's one of my favorite looking characters from z um you know i just i really appreciate the the white contrast with the orange and the black i think it's really cool it's a really fun set, especially if you're very fond of, um, you know, their confrontation in the anime. And remember, this is a Target uh, exclusive in the States. And for me, they've been, you know, easy to find. It's not like it hasn't been that difficult. On a scale of 1 to 10, you know, for me, I think the set is an easy, solid 8.5 to a 9. Um... I love the fact that you're getting some great accessories with this. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Um, I love the fact that the Stardust Breaker, uh, it, there's some thought put into this, you know, the, how it, they could plug into his palm. I dig that a lot. It's pretty cool.
you know, so if you want to recreate, you know, his signature pose from the anime, and he's about to, like, obliterate Janemba, you know, go for it. So great set overall, lots of fun accessories. You know, the Dragon Star Alliance kind of always hit or miss uh, with me. Like, I love the character so much, but, you know, some of the weird issues uh, with the figures, like the joints falling off, is kind of like a very disappointing and frustrating thing. Like, it's great that um, there's so many figures and characters already done in the Dragon Star line, but this is kind of like the, you know, the flawed joints kind of bothers me a lot. And it, but at the same time, it's kind of a compromise because this is a much more affordable line than trying to collect like figure arts figures. And it's a lot it's a lot better <laughs> than like assembling the figures, uh, you know, like unlike some of the model kits that are out there. All right. With that being said, let's wrap this one up. Once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.